Nearly a quarter century ago, on the Hawaiian island of Maui, a group of audacious adventure athletes created the ultimate endurance test, an open water swim in the rough surf of the Pacific, a mountain bike ride up steep, winding track, and a grueling trail run through the forest and across the sand. With that groundbreaking race, the sport of Xterra was born, and in the decades since, it has grown in prominence and reach, expanding to five continents and drawing the highest caliber off-road triathletes in the world. Amish Carter is the Xterra world champion. To remote and rugged courses in some of the planet's most spectacular locales. And in late October, after eight months of races, which showcased unprecedented talent and depth in the elite ranks, the 2019 season finished with the 24th Xterra World Championship, held back at the birthplace of the sport on Maui. At stake in this year's final Xterra race, $100,000 in prize money, and the glory that goes with the title, World Champion. Every autumn, the best Xterra athletes in the world descend on Kapalua Resort on Maui's northwest coast. And even for those who aren't challenging for a podium spot, qualifying for the race is a career-defining achievement, justifying the hours, months, and years of training. For an age group Xterra athlete, Maui represents a personal Olympics. It's a race, but also an arrival, an accomplishment worth celebrating in a place that's something akin to paradise. Going into the 24th Xterra World Championship, Flora Duffy was the woman to beat. The 32-year-old, who represented her native Bermuda at each of the last three Summer Olympics, won Xterra World titles at Kapalua Resort in 2014, 2015, 2016, and 2017, before injury kept her out of the event last year. I sat out most of 2019, only started my season in August, so this will be my fifth race. Um, this year. So for me, I usually come into this race off a full season of, of racing. Pretty high with confidence, knowing my form is there. Know it, I just know how the racing hurt feels. And uh, this year, I'm coming in with a lot of unknowns. But I have to take a lot of confidence that I have won this race four times. And you don't just win this race by fluke. You know, you, you kind of know need to know what you're doing. So just really try to go back to to, to that to that memory um, as I come in here off of an injury, which is always a pretty daunting and unknown way to come into a race. But I wouldn't have come here if I didn't think I had a chance of, of winning my fifth title. Um, of course, that would be like an incredible thing to do and such an honor to be one of the, the, the first person to win five Xterra World Titles. The athlete with the best chance to keep Duffy from achieving Xterra history was the defending champion, Leslie Patterson of Scotland. The season has been up and down actually. Uh, motivation, health, fitness, all over the place. But the fitness is the best it's been in years, so hopefully I can throw down on, on Sunday. So the toughest competition is definitely Flora. Um, I think to beat her, I have to have my perfect race. Unlike the women's race, the men's race was wide open, something the defending champion, Ra Ackerson of Costa Rica, readily acknowledged. Every athlete that's gonna be out there on Sunday is a great athlete and they're gonna do their best, just like me, be out here doing my best. I don't really focus on the competition or the other athletes, I focus on myself and I wish everybody the best luck. Among those with a chance to dethrone Ackerson were Bradley Weiss of South Africa, the 2017 world champion. After winning the title in 2017, I think every time I come back, I'll think I can win. Um, whether I truly can win or not is a different story, but um, yeah, I absolutely think I can win. Um, there's nothing, there's, there's no part of the race where I, I think I will um, be at any type of significant disadvantage to other athletes. So um, I think I just need to try and, and focus on my um, on executing a, a 
a perfect race because it will take a perfect race to win here. Um, everybody is, is really at, at an incredibly high level and um, they, it seems like they continue to improve um, year on year. Um, and yeah, I look forward to trying to, to play my part on, on Sunday and, and be a part of the race. And if I can win it, that would be amazing. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree, eco-minded hair care infused with natural botanicals. Discover the natural magic of Tea Tree. The Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau. Visit gohawaii.com slash Maui. Coming at things with humility and respect opens up experiences. You have to have a level of gratitude for just the natural, awesome wonder of this island that's in the middle of the ocean and the beauty we are able to live among. At Paul Mitchell, we believe in the beauty of giving back, protecting our forests and waterways, feeding families in need through sustainable community gardens, and ensuring that our products are always cruelty free, big or small. There's beauty in making a difference every single day. That's what connects all of us together in a deep, meaningful way. Join us, live beautifully. This segment is brought to you by Tea Tree by Paul Mitchell. Back on Maui at the Xterra World Championship. Three-time champion Ruben Ruzafa is the class of the field on the mountain bike, but Vice knows the Spaniard is a mere mortal during the final stage of the race, the run portion. There's no doubt that Ruben Ruzafa will get himself to the front of this race, um, provided he has no mechanical issues or anything like that. Um, physically, he's just able to ride a mountain bike incredibly fast. Ruben has been outrun every year for the past four years, so it's, he's definitely not unbeatable. And it's important just to remember that on the bike, that if he does get away, you know, that I am capable of running him back down. Also capable of running down Ruzafa or anyone were the two French Arturs, Artur Forissé and Artur Serrier. Josiah Middaw, the 2015 world champion and the best American Xterra athlete ever, was also a contender, as were Sam Osborne of New Zealand, the Pan American Tour champion, and Karsten Madsen of Canada, who learned to manage a serious cardiac condition this season while delivering the best results of his career. I do believe I can win this race. Uh, indications and training look good. Obviously there is a laundry list of other guys who are wanting to win as well, so it's going to be an absolute dogfight. I mean, it's world champs. There's a collection of, you know, 10 guys that could win this race on the day. When I think of Xterra Maui, I think of painfully beautiful. When I think of Xterra Maui, I think of, you know, like triathlon amplified. We, we take your, you know, your usual swim bike run, we make it more extreme, you know, more hardcore and add a whole lot of skills into it. Xterra is an amazing lifestyle because you meet wonderful people and see amazing places. Xterra for me, it means racing is in beautiful places, discovering some beautiful things people, countries, landscapes. My favorite thing about Xterra overall is I think the ability it gets, gives me to, in my training and in racing, to see parts of the world that I would have never seen on my own and giving me the opportunity to go off-road and explore the, uh, the wilderness and the nature that surrounds us. My favorite thing about Xterra is facing your deepest fears and trying to overcome them. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's perfect way to discover new places with sports. The Xterra World Championship here in Maui, for me, is where all the best athletes from all over the world come out to just shoot it out for one day and see who's the best on that one day. Sunday, October 27th. Race day at Kapalua Resort on Maui, and in the morning, the heavens opened up to offer competitors a traditional Hawaiian blessing, before the rain gave way to stunning blue skies and bright sunshine. 
Six former Xterra World Champions were among the more than 600 athletes, representing 42 U.S. states and 40 countries, gathered on DT Fleming Beach for the start of the championship. The elite athletes took to the ocean first for the one mile rough water swim. With a 21 minute and 13 second split, Sam Osborne of New Zealand took the early lead, followed closely by Maxime Chanet of France and Bradley Weiss of South Africa. Incredibly, Flora Duffy of Bermuda, the four time Xterra world champ, swam with the lead group of men trailing only Osborne heading into transition one. Our vision for Maui Brewing wasn't just to make authentic local beer. The beer had to be great, world-class Hawaiian craft beer. We're extremely proud of all the awards we've won and the growth to become Hawaii's largest craft brewery. We are of this place. Every action we take needs to have purpose. And that purpose is not to catch every single fish we come across. That's so good. The ocean has been here a million years before we ever got here, and it's going to be here a million years after. This segment is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. The competitors headed on to the redesigned bike course at Kapalua Resort, a grueling two-lap, 20-mile tour of the West Maui Mountains, made trickier and slicker by the early morning downpour. The new bike course is excellent. Um, it's way more technical than the previous years. Um, loved the two laps. Loved that the elites got their own start, so we had clear run of the course. Um, yeah, it was very technical and the bit of rain that we got uh, just before the race start really changed the condition. On the first lap of the bike, the New Zealander, Osborne, the leader after the swim, and the South African, Vice, took to the front. The two stars from the Southern Hemisphere were soon joined by Spain's Ruben Ruzapa, who had come out of the water a minute back of the leaders, but asserted his mountain bike mastery laying down the fastest bike split for the seventh straight year, despite some struggles with the wet conditions. In the bike, I try to take the head of the race uh, the fastest as I can, but saving energy for the run. And finally, uh, I had uh, two or three crashes in the bike with a tree or slippery parts. The course changes have been incredible. Xterra have done an incredible job at, at um, changing up the course and, and making sure that uh, we have something that truly favours mountain bikers, and that's what it was this year. Um, and I knew that that would favour Ruben. Um, Ruben came through with about... Uh, he caught me at the start of the second lap, um, and I knew that I could ride with him, but I just knew that I had to be, be pretty cautious once we got to the trail. So we pushed really hard on the climbs and, and stayed steady on the descents. Vice and Ruzapa came into transition two together, with Osborne a little over a minute back. Osborne was just 16 ticks up on Artur Serie, the flying Frenchman with the best closing speed in the field. In the women's elite race, Duffy's closest pursuer was the Scotswoman, Leslie Patterson, who had won the world title in 2018, when Duffy was out with a torn post-tibial tendon. Yeah, she's an amazing athlete, you know, really uh, in a league of her own, and uh, one, of those, one of those types of athletes that doesn't come around very often, so yeah, it's uh, good to have her back, and well, not that good to have her back. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, she's, she's, she's really, you know, really impressive.
Duffy's bike split was close to six minutes faster than Patterson's, but while the women's result was a foregone conclusion, the men's race was set up for a thrilling finish as Ruzafa and Weiss went into the run in a dead heat. I was pretty confident that I could outrun him, but yeah, there were a few other guys on the hunt from behind, so I knew I had to, to, keep, to keep myself um, focused and kept pushing really hard. Like, I haven't pushed that hard on a run in a while. Um, just to, really wanted to consolidate my lead and make sure that nobody could catch me. About four kilometers into the 6.5 mile trail run around Kapalua Resort, Weiss made his move, separating from Ruzafa. Meanwhile, behind him, 25-year-old Artur Serie, who was in fourth place after the first two legs of the race, passed Sam Osborne about three kilometers into the run, and then sprinted by Ruzafa to move into second position after eight kilometers. I was very worried about Artur Serie. He's been running incredibly well. He ran three minutes into me in Europe a couple months ago, so I was pretty worried that if he's too close, he might be able to run across. But yeah, in the last descent, I got a split of about 90 seconds, and now I knew that that should be enough to, to get it done. So yeah, incredibly happy. Running with a healthy fear of the Frenchman, Weiss kept pushing, delivering a run split of 42 minutes and 10 seconds, the third fastest of the day, and enough to give him the victory by more than a minute. It was his second Xterra world title in three years. Winning in 2017 was the highlight of my career and to back it up now in 2019 with, a, with another world title is yeah, it's definitely a, a highlight of my career for sure. Um, the Xterra World Champs is just such a special race here on Maui and um, it really it brings out the best off-road triathletes in the world, um, forces everybody to be at their very best in order to win. Um, and starting out the, the, the day, it's really difficult to say who the favorites are. Um, you can look on paper as much as you like and see how others have competed, but once that gun goes, you know, it's kind of every man for himself. And um, yeah, I was, was very, very happy with how I managed to execute my race. Also executing a brilliant race was Serie, who turned in the fastest run of the day to move up from fourth place to second. It's my first year here in a pro category. I was uh, maybe in fire. Uh, I swim fast, ride smart and run fast. Uh, for me, it's like a victory because Brad Levice was too strong for me today. Ruzafa ran well to hang on for third, while Osborne, the leader after the swim, fell one spot shy of the podium in fourth. In the women's race, Flora Duffy, who had a lead of more than nine minutes after the swim and bike, was cruising to victory. But even with an insurmountable lead, it wasn't until the final stretch that she allowed herself to enjoy her accomplishment. But I never wanted to think I was going to win until I was right on the finishing shoot because with Xterra, you never know what can happen. Duffy crossed the finish line in two hours, 49 minutes, and 23 seconds, a time that would have placed her 17th in the men's professional race and an astounding 14 minutes ahead of the second place woman, Leslie Patterson. Uh, the moment before I'm crossing the finish line, it's, it's a little bit of a relief, um, but then extreme happiness. For me, sort of running along the beach, it started to set in that what I'd achieved, and um, yeah, just extremely happy that I could, could do that and I could have my husband here sharing the moment with me. Coming at things with humility and respect opens up experiences. You have to have a level of gratitude for just the natural, awesome wonder of this island that's in the middle of the ocean and the beauty we are able to live among. Xterra Adventures is presented by the Hawaiian Islands. Visit GoHawaii.com, Hawaii's official tourism site. Xterra, racing and apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit XterraPlanet.com.
Behind Duffy and Patterson, the fight for third place was fierce. Morgan Ryu of France, who was sixth after the swim in the bike, turned in the second fastest run of the day to move up to fourth. But more than anyone, it was 40-year-old Helena Karaskova competing in her final Xterra race who saved her best for last. The Czech woman was fifth coming off the bike, but passed Lizzie Orchard of New Zealand and then Susie Snyder of the US to place third in the world in her career curtain call. Yeah, I think it was a really amazing race today for me. Everything from the morning going so fast, I, I, I just jumping to the water and swam and then I was on the bike, it was like I catch one girl by one and it was so motivated for me. Karaskova, who was inducted into the Xterra Hall of Fame two days before the race, intends to become a coach and spend more time with her family, including nine-year-old daughter Maya. But the excellence of the performance she delivered in her final competition was not lost on the second place finisher, Patterson. I'm 39, 40 next year, so I've been in the sport a long time, so it's nice to still be competitive. And uh, interestingly, Helena, that was third, is 40, so you know, it's, a, it's the old girls that are uh, still up there. Starting an hour after the elite fields, Nearly 600 age group competitors representing 40 different nations embarked on what would be, for many of them, the most important event of their athletic lives. Maxi Morales, a 43-year-old from Argentina, completed the course in just under two hours and 51 minutes to take the overall amateur title. On the women's side, Zendriska Zamanova, a 39-year-old mother from the Czech Republic, successfully defended her amateur world title, winning in three hours, 15 minutes, and 20 seconds, a time that would have placed her ninth in the elite women's race. And there were plenty of other inspirational athletes, including Robbie Day, a 17-year-old phenom from Colorado, who won his age group in two hours, 55 minutes. And coach Calvin Zariski of Canada, who went under the three-hour barrier and won his ninth world title, this time in the 50 to 54 age division. Anita Coyle, a mother of four from Utah, who early in 2019 lost her husband suddenly, showed her reserves of strength and resilience in qualifying for Maui. There were impressive performances in the physically challenged division, including Willie Stewart, a 57-year-old American who lost his arm in a construction accident as a teenager. And hundreds of other athletes drew strength from the spectators and each other in completing the legendary race. As the sun set on the 2019 season, champions were crowned, legacies were embellished, friendships were formed, and the community of happy warriors celebrated the unique and beautiful spirit that is Xterra. this place. Every action we take needs to have purpose. And that purpose is not to catch every single fish we come across. It's so good. The ocean has been here a million years before we ever got here, and it's gonna be here a million years after. Maui Jim sunglasses were born on the beaches of Hawaii, designed to respond to the bright sun and harsh glare of the islands, all while enhancing the view. After 30 years, we're still independently owned, and the free-thinking Hawaiian spirit that first inspired us is still a part of everything we do. 
Our polarized plus two lenses not only protect eyes from harmful rays, they also make colors more vivid and contrast crisper. Try in a pair and see for yourself. The view is better from here.